I often get asked by, uh, by, by people, why don't I grind a pre-bevel a pre on the edge? We well, can see this has been heat treated and the reason why I don't is because I can actually rock well test right along where that bevel is going to be. Once you've ground a bevel and angle on, you, the rock well tester won't work, it's got to be really flat and level. So uh, I'm going to run a test along there on my rock well tester and just see uh, exactly how hard the edge is. And I find this the most effective way to tell me how hard that blade is, actually where it matters. And with these machines, what I find also, um, it's uh, repetition. You've got to do exactly the same thing when you measure the knife or when you measure the reference block. You do it exactly the same. And I always run through it. It's a simple little procedure. I give the machine a little tap and I make my readings. So I'm happy with that. Move it along a little bit. And each time I do it exactly the same thing. Just tap it, centre the dial, release the sear. I'm waiting for that little lever to come back fully. That means the whole 150 kilogram test load has been applied. they're all coming out about the same which is what I would expect I'd be lost without a rock roll tester it, did, it, it, it just takes a lot of guesswork out and you know your knives are going to be okay that's my uh, mobile phone alerting me to something or whatever They're expensive machines, but you know it's uh, an important machine I think to have. They're all coming out roughly where I want them. I've often said that this, this machine almost gives you eyes into the steel. You can almost look into the steel with it. They're all coming out nice. This will be the last test now. I'm getting close to the edge and it's uh, just get it, that's it. And also I know that where it's coming to a halt over here I know that it's um, it's in the sweet spot so to speak. If it had gone up too far or too down it could have been decarb or slightly warped blade. But this has all come out very well. Now, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but you'll see the little uh, Rockwell dimples all along where the edge is. One other point to note also is that this bevel dial uh, swivels. So uh, what you've got to do when you um, set the needle up, you want to be close to 12 o'clock. But if you go over 12 o'clock or before 12 o'clock, it doesn't matter as long as you're within sort of two or three units. They are not quite at 12 o'clock. So what I do, I then adjust the bevel dial to to read bang on the B and C. There's a B and C dial. 
the B is for the B scale and the C obviously for the Rockwell C scale. And then that calibrates the dial. Then we uh, remove the test load or apply a test load rather. Wait for it to stop and settle down. Wait for the lever to come fully down just here look. That's the full test load been applied, 150 kilograms on the test dial there. And I always give my little tap and then I unload it and as I unload it we get the Rockwell reading. In this case we're reading 59. So uh, I'm glad to say that all the the readings from this batch of knives are all very good and that makes me uh, very confident that they've been well heat treated and I can now go on and apply the final bevel and then build these up uh, into knives.